with diverse flora and fauna, magnificent natural landscapes, and an ecological biosphere that supports life. This wondrous planet is our earthly home. From our animal co-inhabitants to the lush rainforests and life-giving soil, we cherish all these as gifts from the Creator. It is a common theme in the world's major faiths that during our temporary stay here, we should be good stewards of Mother Earth. Throughout the years, Supreme Master Ching Hai has shared the message of leading a balanced life while following a spiritual path. Not only must we nourish our spirits, but we share the responsibility to care for nature and our fellow beings. In light of recent scientific evidences which pinpoint the raising of livestock as the number one contributor to climate change, Supreme Master Ching Hai affirms the important message she has noted for over the past two decades. We must be vegetarian, meaning an animal-free diet and practice sustainable living. Today we present to you part one of a four-part series titled Live a Life of Conscience and Love, a compilation of excerpts from Supreme Master Ching Hai's discussions concerning the detrimental impacts of the meat diet on human health, the environment, and ultimately the health of our planet. Oh, okay. Like before you from initiation and uh, after initiation. Of course, when you awaken your own wisdom, then you are more clever now. Mm -hmm. And when you're really more clever, you can see things clearer. And you, of course, you will have love for all creation of God. Just automatic. Mm -hmm. Just like you suddenly realize maybe you got sick huh? and you lost your memory for somehow. You don't realize this is your son, this is your daughter. Suddenly you forgot it. Mm -hmm. And you don't care about that. You know, whoever take care of them, you don't care. But then one day you remember somehow, someone help you, give you medicine, or as time has come that you remember, oh, this is my son, oh my God, come back here. I will take care of you. I make up for you, I protect you, no? Mm -hmm. The same. After you awaken, you see all people, all animals, are your children, your mm -hmm. family members. You love them so much. What you is want? that actually, what is that, uh, that power that, um, it reawakens people. God power. Directly? Yes. Does it come through you or you just uh, make a, you just help a person to get ready no. to make this he dance? No, he has it, he has it all the time. I told you the ten dollar in your pocket. Mm -hmm. He's just too busy, he forgot. Mm -hmm. Too busy, oh, running from one job to another, too busy do this. Everything is so important in this world, you mm -hmm. know. <laughs> what to wear. <laughs> You know, uh, of course you can have all that, but the main point is God's power is your great self. Mm -hmm. Everybody forget. It's very easy to remember. Just have to commit inside. You say, okay, I really want to know myself again now. I really want to know God. Truly, I want mm -hmm. it. Then it will happen. Mm -hmm. okay, so I will the the very important thing is actually uh, that uh, people come to the point where they decide. Yes. With their own right. will, their own decision that right. what are they good, that, okay, it's enough. Now it. I want to be that child and work like that. That's <laughs> it, that's it. That's the time, that's it. Enough is enough. No, I want to go back home. Yeah, yeah. So I want to know God, I want to know my real self. And nothing can stop them then. Yeah. And no turning back. Mm. But if they're not ready, even if I give them the gift of awakening, if mm. I help them to do it, to see themselves, they still don't okay, care, and later they will forget it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they go back to the same darkness. Mm -hmm. No more light, no more improvement. Mm -hmm. Same like before, just a little bit more than before. Mm -hmm. yes. Just the inside decision. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. We have to decide, just like for the environment and the planet now, we just all have to decide that. That's it. Now I'm going to do something. Mm -hmm. Whatever it takes. Even if animals eating is not a sin, even if it's not, for the sake of compassion, we should stop eating them and mm. torturing them for any reason at all. Mm. Even if 
eating animal doesn't harm our environment or our health, we should stop it because for love, mm -hmm. protection of the weak and the helpless. Mm -hmm. We're so big and powerful, we can find anything to eat. Why do we have to kill little things like that to mm -hmm. eat? Huh? They're not our size even. Yeah. Some are so small and helpless and they have children, they have feeling even. That's the thing about awakening. Afterward, you can feel what the chicken feel. Mm -hmm. Without losing your humanity, you will be more human. Mm -hmm. You will know everything. That's why you love everything. You will treat the earth with respect. You know, even now, I'm telling you the truth, even cutting vegetable for me is very sensitive already. Mm -hmm. I have to do it sometimes to show some people how to cook easy because at least the plant, they don't have pain, physical pain mm -hmm. that we do, yeah? Mm -hmm. And we ask them to give permission, mm -hmm. yeah? That's okay, yeah? The plant, they can grow again. If you cut one branch, they grow three, four branches. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they need it. Then you trim the tree so they grow strong, mm -hmm. okay? Then it's good, excusable, mm -hmm. yes? But even then, I cannot go out in the garden now, in this stage of my knowing, to cut anything, mm -hmm. any plant, any grass, without feeling a tingle in my heart. Mm -hmm. I cannot do it. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. Just I plant know. grass, yes. Yeah. And even vegetable already cut in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I cut to show some cooking. I feel like I don't want to do it already. Mm -hmm. Even plant, even already cut. Mm -hmm. You just feel you're one with everything, and everything you destroy, you feel like destroying you. But of course there is a difference between cutting a piece of your hair, then cutting a piece of your finger, you see? Yeah, sure. So killing yeah. animals is like cutting your fingers. Mm -hmm. Killing plant, or cutting plant for the sake of, well, we have to eat something to survive. Just like cutting your hair, mm -hmm. see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So this we can afford to sacrifice, mm -hmm. even then. I don't feel easy doing it now. Mm -hmm. I get more and more sensitive. Mm -hmm. So now I can't even go out, take the plant or cut the flower, no. Mm -hmm. I can't. Without feeling bad, I just won't do it anymore. I can't, I can't do it. Vegetarianism and religion. The Baha'i Faith. Regarding the eating of animal flesh and abstinence therefrom, know thou of a certainty that in the beginning of creation God determined the food of every living being, and to eat contrary to that determination is not approved. Selections from the Baha'i Writings on some aspects of health and healing. Buddhism. All meats eaten by living beings are of their own relatives. Lankavatara Sutra. Also, after the birth of the baby, care must be exercised not to kill any animal in order to feed the mother with meaty delicacies and not to assemble many relatives to drink liquor or to eat meat. Because, at the difficult time of birth, there are innumerable evil demons, monsters and goblins who want to consume the smelly blood. By ignorantly and adversely resorting to the killing of animals for consumption, they bring down curses upon themselves which are detrimental to both the mother and the baby. Kasiti Garba Sutra, Chapter 8 Be careful during the days immediately after someone's death, not killing or destroying, or creating evil karma by worshipping or offering sacrifice to demons and deities, because such killing and slaughtering committed, or such worship performed, or such sacrifice offered, would not have even an iota of force to benefit the dead, but would entwine even more sinful karma into previous karma, making it even deeper and more serious. Thus, delay his rebirth to a good state. Karma means retribution. Kasiti Garba Sutra, Chapter 7 Cow die. The most important thing is to stop killing, because animals also have souls and understand like humans. If we kill and eat them, then we owe them a blood debt. Teachings of the Saints Christianity, meats for the belly and the belly for meats, but God shall destroy both it and them. Holy Bible And while the flesh was yet between their teeth, ere it was chewed, the wrath of the Lord was kindled against the people, and the Lord smote the people with a very great plague. Holy Bible Confucianism 
All men have a mind which cannot bear to see the sufferings of others. The superior man, having seen the animals alive, cannot bear to see them die. Having heard their dying cries, he cannot bear to eat their flesh. Mencius. Essenes. I am come to end the sacrifices and feasts of blood, and if ye cease not offering and eating of flesh and blood, the wrath of God shall not cease from you. Gospel of the Holy Twelve. Hinduism. Since you cannot bring killed animals back to life, you are responsible for killing them. Therefore, you are going to hell. There is no way for your deliverance. Adelila. He who desires to augment his own flesh by eating the flesh of other creatures lives in misery in whatever species he may take his birth. Mahabharata anew. Islam. Allah will not give mercy to anyone except those who give mercy to other creatures. Hadith. Do not allow your stomachs to become graveyards of animals. Hadith. Jainism. A true monk should not accept such food and drink as has been specially prepared for him involving the slaughter of living beings. Sutra Katanga. Judaism. And whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn among you, that eateth any manner of blood, I will even set my face against that soul that eateth blood, and will cut him off from among his people. Holy Bible. Blood meaning flesh. Sikhism, those mortals who consume marijuana, flesh, and wine, no matter what pilgrimages, fasts, and rituals they follow, they will all go to hell. Guru Granth Sahib. Taoism, do not go into the mountain to catch birds and nets, nor to the water to poison fishes and minnows. Do not butcher the ox that plows your field, tract of the quiet way. Tibetan Buddhism, the offering to the deities of meat obtained by killing animate beings is like offering a mother the flesh of her own child, and this is a grievous failure, the supreme path of discipleship. Zoroastrianism, those plants, I, Ahura Mazda, or God, rain down upon the earth to bring food to the faithful and fodder to the beneficent cow, Avesta. Everybody knows that vegetarian diet is good for health and to save the planet. They will be awakening their own great, compassionate, loving self-nature, and then their level of consciousness will rise up automatically and they will understand more than they ever did and they'll be closer to heaven than what they are right now. The Tobusky version is a chunk of the Enutrin Tumung Amra Mugling Astria. In get Estuet, Etuwen, Mongocho, Yachol, Jessent, Neku Woodbur, Neku Woodbur, Hilde, Negu Sultapmarana. Өвгөн ухамсраа авч үлдэхийн тулд өдөр тутмын галт тогоноос хүртэл цэрвэж бүх хүндэстэн хоолны хойноос хөөцөлдөж байхад бид ганцаараа олон зууны олон зууны зуунд араараас ууж үлдсэн улсаа бид цадл хоол цадл идэх нь бүх хэл гадна ургасан байгалийн хүнсэнд ам хүрдэггүй байсан байсан цаг сайхан юм Монголчууд үндэснээр цагаан хоолтон байсан. Тэгээд нэг л өдөр үүнийг бүдүүлэх гэж ойлгоод соёл төмөс болох гээд амтны ам тасалж таслах дон шүүлчсэн юм аа. Одоо эргэж хуучин голдэрлт нь оруулах арга чарга хайсан хүн энэ улс орны хамгийн тэнэг мэтээр ойлгодогч гажуудал уус байгаа. Дэлхийн гамшиг боллоо гэхэд ядаж хамгийн баг хоолыг амин зуулгаа болгож чадсан хүнд тэсэж үлдэх болов уу гэж бодож байна. Та юу гэсэн болоо? Yes, I do think so. <laughs> I do think people with the minimum food habit have more chance to survive. Because also we don't need that much food. Yes. If we eat too much, sometimes we cannot even think. Even vegetarian food, we don't have to eat so much. So right now, the most important is we have to try to avoid the disaster that we are going to lose the planet, lose our home.
actually we should not have to worry about food because we have it abundantly on our planet. It's just that we have to use it wisely. Instead of using it to feed the animals, we use it to feed humans, and that will be fine. Regarding the Mongolian old cuisine, you know, without cuisine, I like that very much. I like that concept very much. I wish that the Mongolian can return to their original tradition of non-cooking and more vegetarian, you know, living according to the high moral standard of Buddhism. Hmm. So now it is maybe the time to bring it back again. Maybe people will listen this time in the dire situation of our planet. We should remind everyone to be veg, to invoke the mercy of the Buddhas, and we will be better protected. You see, studies have shown that if the grain currently go into livestock animals for feed, if we feed it to humans, then all the hungry in the world will disappear, and the reversal of global warming from a vegan diet will result in more plentiful growing conditions. So we even have more food than now if we turn to vegetarian diet. We are already facing so many untold natural disasters on a daily basis, such as earthquakes, severe storms, never seen before, volcanoes, ice melting, and many islands, many nations have sunk under the water already, and many are sinking. And the climate has become, you know, very, very strange. Like, it became warm where it should be cold, and it became cold where it should be hot. And this can only be alleviated through a return to the ancient ways of our wiser elders, like those in Mongolia of the old time, one that exists in harmony with nature and respect of other beings, a true brotherhood of love with all. Thank you for bringing that back up, sir. We can still do that. It's not too late. Some of the benefits of a vegetarian diet lowers blood pressure, lowers cholesterol levels, reduces type 2 diabetes, prevents stroke conditions, reverses atherosclerosis, reduces heart disease risk 50%, reduces heart surgery risk 80%, prevents many forms of cancer, stronger immune system, increases life expectancy up to 15 years, higher IQ, saves 70% of the total cost of 40 trillion US dollars for reducing global warming, uses 4.5 times less land to grow food, conserves up to 70% clean water, saves 80% of the cleared Amazonian rainforest from animal grazing, a solution for world hunger. Free up 3.4 billion hectares of land. Free up 760 million tons of grain every year. Half the world's grain supply. Consumes one-third fossil fuels of those used for meat production. Reduces pollution from untreated animal waste. Maintains cleaner air. Saves 4.5 tons of emissions per U.S. household per year stop 80% of global warming, plus more. We thank you for your presence for today's episode of Between Master and Disciples. Tune in next Friday for part two of Supreme Master Ching Hai's excerpted discussion titled, Live a Life of Conscience and Love. Animal World, Our Co-Inhabitants, is up next, right after noteworthy news, here on Supreme Master Television. May the Providence guide us in wisdom and love. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash bmd.